It's an epidemic that has many reaching out for help to treat their addictions. And in the wake of the opioid epidemic, a treatment center in Chagrin Falls is trying a different approach. As News 5's Homa Bash explains, the outpatient detox doesn't use drugs. It'll take your life from you. Greg Fuhrer was a Cleveland firefighter when he got hurt on the job. The Separated shoulders, five ruptured discs in his back. Pain medication meant to help him heal would lead him to addiction. They put you on something, it's, it's just a crutch. And it, it, it will, it, it winds up taking your life away. Fuhrer battled opioid addiction for five years, even turning to heroin. Oh yeah, I did that. It's cheaper. It's more accessible. He lost his job as a firefighter, then became dependent on Suboxone for the last 12 years. After failed stints in half a dozen detox clinics, Fuhrer found his way here. Luna Living looks like a spa, but the outpatient addiction clinic is working toward FDA clinical trials and working toward getting people clean in a different way. This is really the clean way to get clean. Founder Wendy Comack spent her career working with Fortune 500 companies. Hired by a company that needed to really drive revenue. She is also 31 years sober. This is the way Wendy says Luna Living works. Oh, that's fine. A seven day detox where people are hooked up to an IV filled with a patent pending formula meant to curb cravings along with therapy sessions. The entire program runs six months, all of it outpatient. The price tag, just over $17,000. Sometimes we have to do a little drug math. I mean, your average heroin addict is going to spend $300 a day. So that's a pretty hefty expense right there. For Greg, Luna's formula is the only one that's proven successful. 16 years after he started battling addiction. This is something that actually worked. The patent for the formula inside those IVs was filed this summer. They're hoping to start those FDA clinical trials early next spring. Oftentimes, insurance does cover a part of the cost of the program. In Cleveland, Homa Bash, News 5.